back. This is the time of year when yard sale signs go up around the state. Some looking for hidden treasure, others maybe looking to declutter their homes. So Howard Schwartz is here from the Connecticut Better Business Bureau to give us some advice for both the buyers and the sellers. Indeed. Howard Schwartz, thank you so much for being here this morning. Always a pleasure. All right, so we've got a lot of don'ts. What don't we buy at garage sales? Well, there are things like motorcycle helmets or bicycle helmets shouldn't be buying them because if they've been dropped or damaged or poorly repaired, there's virtually no way of being able to tell. Most important, children's items, infants, so that would be cribs, car seats, toys, because some of them may have been subject to recall or are otherwise oh. dangerous. And finally, uh, electronics, because you don't know what's under the hood. <clears throat> Pardon me, there could be some sort of hidden problem that the seller might not even be aware of. So plug it in before you leave, but also ask them if you can have some sort of a receipt and something that says, yes, uh, we have a warranty for a week, you can bring it back. So you have a few days to see that it's stable. So you're going to have a little legal document going on at the garage sale, Howard. Uh, well, <laughs> they may balk at that, but you need some protection. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what if you're looking to host a garage sale? What should you keep in mind? Marketing, marketing, marketing. Uh, you want as many people as you can, obviously. So uh, bulletin boards at the local grocery shop. Uh, tell all your friends, neighbors, and colleagues, that sort of thing. And don't forget about social media. And hopefully you get as many people as you want. Yeah. Um, you know, is there any sort of danger in, in terms of telling people to be at your house at a certain time or just anything that you should be mindful of once on the day of? Well, perhaps change it from a garage sale uh, into a driveway sale. You don't want someone to be able to sneak around and get into your house while you're not paying attention, especially if you're alone and you're doing this. Um, you also want to keep a bunch of $1 bills with you, I just, uh, oh, just to make sure you have a uh, chain for folks. That's right, because most, most everyone does cash only, obviously. That's correct. Yeah. But if you are accepting cash, we recommend that you get one of those uh, counterfeit cash detection pens. Uh, it's not a big expense, but it'll save you a lot of time. And in particular, 20s have been troublesome in terms of being counterfeited. So watch out for those sorts of things. Interesting, interesting. Um, when you are looking to buy something at a garage sale, if you're looking to go out to all of those garage sales, I take it get there early is a good idea. Anything else that people should keep in mind before they head out? Oh, all sorts of things that we can tell people in the way of tips. We know that cash is king. Probably the best way, though, is, is to, uh, if you can, some folks uh, download apps and get a scanner so they can accept credit cards. Um, you should make certain the prices right. The main thing is to get rid of your things, not to right. have them pile up. Um, you want to uh, make sure your price isn't too high. And a good rule of thumb is to sell your things for one half to one third of their original price. Round it off, very important. Even just drop it to a dollar figure rather than a dollar twenty-five, and certainly not a dollar eighteen. It just makes it easier all around. Um, avoid holiday sales. So, for example, July Fourth weekend. Labor Day because people tend to be out of town and uh, that's not going to help you unless you live on a strip where uh, tourists pass all the time. Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, that's a different kind of thing and that's that's a, a good time to hold them as well. Oh, that's a, that's good advice. Oh, in terms of like pricing items, you should have everything labeled, right, I would think? Everything should yeah. be labeled, but there should also be room to negotiate. Oh, yeah. Once again, our goal is to get rid of the stuff and perhaps get some money for yourself uh, or to raise for a charity. It's great. I love tag sales. You drive around and find, and there are hidden treasures to be had there. And perhaps one of the most important things after finding that treasure is be good to the neighborhood. Take down those signs after. Oh, I like good advice. Howard Schwartz, thank you so much. Thank you, Sandy. All right, for more information, you can always head to WTNH.com. Just go to that on-air tab, pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section. Coming up here, major changes to the interstate. We are taking a live look at the roads coming up, how this could impact your weekend travel. Plus, race for the White House. Find out who Donald Trump is introducing as his new running mate at a press conference today. And Sam? We have some nice weather here in Connecticut. Our Hartford camera looking fantastic. And all of them across the state looking great. Is this going to last through the rest of the weekend, though? A couple of showers to talk about. We'll do just that when we see you coming up in just a few.